Hey everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. Y'all, as you can see, I am in my prepper pantry today. And yeah, it's getting out of hand. So there will be a video. This is not the video for it, but there will be a video in the future. I, I know I keep saying that, but I have to <laughs> I have to do it sooner or later. On an organization video of, you know, organizing my preps, getting things squared away a little bit better. Okay, so I want to do this video a little different than my normal videos. It's going to be more like a prepper chit chat style vlog video. So I hope that would be something new I can experiment with and see how it goes. But you know, it's just so important to prep. Let's just talk about that for a little bit. It's so important to prep and have things that you and your family eat and that you know you go through. For me, I like to have my prepper pantry a working rotating prepper pantry and y'all it is kind of hard to keep up with I'm not perfect about it I'm not saying I'm perfect about it uh you know you just do what you can where you can when you can plain and simple just do your best um so I just want to show you guys my prepper pantry I'm just working on you know I haven't done that video in a long time of a prepper pantry organization video because there's other areas in my home that needs organization and, you know, a good go through, a good refresher. You know, you got to get your house in order, not just your pepper pantry. You need to go through all other aspects of your home, um, you know, clothes. Okay. It's me and my daughter. We have to, a ton, a ton of clothes we have to go through. Winter is coming. I know here in Louisiana, it doesn't get as bad up north. But we do get cold, okay? Uh, especially not being used to the cold. So any little cold breeze comes through, we're cold. Um, so we want to go through our clothes, especially my daughter. She's a young girl. She grows constantly. She always needs new clothes for summer and winter. She She's growing. You know, if you have kids, they grow. So we went through all her clothes. Anything we can get rid of, we got rid of. We still have a lot more to go through for mostly my clothes. But um, her clothes, you know, we went through. So now we know what we need to start looking for. You know, she needs, of course, jeans, long sleeve shirts. Um, she probably could use the same jacket as last year, but maybe a new jacket to have an extra one. Uh, winter boots. Uh, she just got her a pair of black winter boots the other day. So, you know, that's things that we are working on putting away. Well, not putting away because it's still, y'all, here in Louisiana, during winter time, you can be in shorts one day, hot as can be, and then you can be all bundled up like it's freezing the next day. It's very weird, strange weather, but that's how it is here. So, we don't want to put up too much summer clothes, but we want to Make room for our winter clothes to have that out in our shelves and um, closets and stuff. So, you know, the point of this video, I know it's very different. I keep showing the same shelves over and over again. But, y'all, get your home in order. Not just those prepper pantries. Go through. Make, you know, refresh your home. See what you got. See what you need more of. Dust it. Clean it. Organize it. You know, if you can get rid of some clothes that you don't wear because they have stains or they're holes in them or you, it's just something you haven't worn in the past year and you know you're not going to wear and it's just taking up space get rid of it and if you have a lot of stuff that you can get rid of you know that you, you know you just don't use and you have no use for it anymore that can make space for new items preps you know whatever um have your space a little bit more decluttered it would feel better you know that that type of thing so that's what i've been working on is the clothes um, I went through, also, I haven't been organizing this because I want it to go through my kitchen pantry. So, you know what? I did go through it. I want to show you guys what I've done. But before I go into the kitchen and show you guys that, let me just say it is a very small kitchen. I don't have a, I guess you say, a traditional pantry closet. So, I have some shelves, like smaller shelves in this in there. I took everything down and I organized it. So, let me go show you guys that and, you know, show you what I've been working on. Hey y'all, so this is what I was working on in my kitchen. You know, I don't have a traditional like pantry closet in the kitchen. I have a very small kitchen. So this is what I'm working with right here. It's out in the open. You can see everything. My cabinets, they don't have doors, so you can see everything. Really quick, my daughter, she's in the background <laughs> in the living room watching Netflix. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. I'm trying to have her turn it down. But this is like just things that, you know, I like to keep out in the open that we use a lot and we go through a lot. Um, before this was a complete, complete mess. Um, 
So I tried organizing it as best as I can with the limited space I have. And also, I have all this right here, but I also have my daughter's old bookshelf next to my table. I will show you guys in a minute. And it just holds my other items, more bulkier stuff like my um, rice, mashed potatoes, you know, other things like that. A lot of my seasonings, I used to have my seasonings way up there, like all my big Sam's Club seasonings. But I moved all my baking stuff to like right here, you know, stuff that I'm going to plan on using soon. And all my seasonings are on that bookshelf. I will show you guys in a little bit. But yeah, I still have like my cabinets to go through. But I figured it's, you know, it's always good to have a good refresher throughout your whole home. You know, get your home organized. You know, get your home in order. You know, especially before any kind of SHTF situation or a power outage. And you just, you, you want to know in your head what you have and where you have it and how much you have of it you know like i said in my prepper pantry i've tried the list thing before but for me it does not work good i'd rather have it you know like all my carrots in one spot all my potatoes in one spot you know like that so i can keep a visual inventory that's how i like to do it that's what works better for me okay y'all so this is it before i show you guys <laughs> before i show you guys my um what do you call it the bookshelf I have been cooking all day. I have I have several things cooked, okay? So, in that pot right here, I'll show you guys in a second, is chicken, homemade chicken soup. I have mac and cheese, brownies, and then I have baked chicken. I have two different types of baked chicken right there. Let me show you guys. I have, one has the barbecue sauce on it. I had a, what I did was I had a huge pack of chicken. It was like five pounds of chicken, chicken breast. So, that's why I cooked all this, like chicken soup and then the baked chicken. So this is the barbecue chicken. I kept some of the juices in there because I like it, you know, nice and moist and a little bit soft, you know. So I kept the juices in there, some of the juices, and I put the barbecue sauce, baked it again for a little bit. Now sometimes I will bake it longer to really get it thick and sticky, sticky barbecue chicken type of thing, but this is good too. I'm just tired of being in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm ready to get out. Uh, okay, and this is just you know, I kept the juices in there so I can put some juice on it and moisten up a little bit before I serve it. But this one, it just has the seasoning on it. But this is good because I can do several different meals with this. Um, several different meals, you know, lunches and dinners for the next couple days, very easy and quick. So like the barbecue chicken, mac and cheese, and I did make potato salad that's in the fridge. So that will be for like tonight and then maybe some left over. Um, also... Uh, we might have someone over for dinner so plenty of food okay the seasoned chicken with no barbecue sauce i do plan on maybe putting that in like my little um meal prep containers for the fridge with some of this roasted chicken you know just very small portion you microwave it very quick and easy or you could do that with like a nor side well one of the chicken flavored nor sides maybe uh, this mashed potatoes you can a ton of different things for sides but tonight it's going to be mac and cheese potato salad and barbecue <laughs> the barbecue uh baked chicken okay, i'm gonna close this up to keep it kind of hot but yeah i kept this one kind of plain to put it over rice or uh alfredo like you can do so much different stuff with this one so i didn't put the barbecue sauce on this that's how much is in there you know um so so many different things i could do with this so i might just stick this whole thing in the fridge you know maybe do like a chicken alfredo or do like little meal prep ideas with you know put it over rice maybe steam up some broccoli healthy lunches and dinners you know very very delicious and then dessert brownies let me show you guys the brownies i made it was from this box right here the gear deli chocolate supreme brownies figured let me make that while i had my oven hot you know from all the baked chicken i was doing mac and cheese let me show you guys my my soup okay oh it's very hot okay so this is my chicken soup right here i have little pieces of chicken cut up you know i have like maybe two big chicken breasts cut up in here i have two big things of the chicken broth containers in here some of the carrots you know like you've seen in my sam's club haul i have a few of those peeled and chopped up in here then i also added one of those uh mixed vegetable canned goods so in that canned good it was mixed with um uh, i think there's a, little, uh, a very few llama beans in here corn peas green beans 
and then like their little dice up carrots so and then i put all sorts of seasonings you know i kind of season it different every single time and it just it comes out really good all right so this is my chicken soup right here uh, me and my daughter we both tried it and we both liked it and uh the chicken soup i plan on making us each a bowl putting it in the fridge for tomorrow maybe you can you know you can eat that with some crackers maybe some grilled cheese sandwiches um uh, really good lunch or dinner like that or you can fix like a ham sandwich with it or a salad with it you know soup and salad uh something okay but the rest of it i do plan on freezing you know if you watch my videos y'all know i like to freeze whatever i can for easy quick lunches and dinners throughout the week or for the next month or whatever you know okay so that is that oh y'all <laughs> really quick let me show you guys this this is what i got from ross i think it was ross i showed in one of my hauls but it has the you know the wax in it and y'all it smells like i've been baking <laughs> Even through all this cooking, y'all, it smells like I've been baking this warm apple pie. It smells so good. It smells like I baked an apple pie. I can smell the brownies, too, because I'm right here. But, you know, I mainly smell that. And it just smells really, really good. I am ready to clean up all this mess. But anyways, my point is, you know, this is what I got working with right here in my limited space of a an apartment kitchen, okay? Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I have in the living room next to my table. Like, living room slash dining room, however you want to say it. Okay, so let's go look at that real quick. Okay, so these are the bookshelves I have right here by my table, y'all. Uh, yeah, just ignore that corner. That's just some storage I put back there in that corner. Like, gift bags, Christmas wrapping paper, some art stuff. But this is what I did with these bookshelves, okay? Uh, I put all my big seasonings right here. And then down here I have um, like, you know, my mashed potatoes, my minute rice, all-purpose flour, um, self-rising flour. And there I have some uh, monk fruit sugar. I had a very little bit of sugar left, so I put that right there. Uh, I do need to get some more Zatarain's rice, so I do need to fill this up with my Zatarain's rice. My extra jar of the baby marshmallows. I have one in my kitchen and I have one right here. And then I've been liking to save my spaghetti jars and repurpose them. So, you know, I do, like, you know, I do prep a lot of beans and I put them in Milo bags. But the ones I want to keep in my kitchen that I'm going to rotate through and use, you know, um, I'm going to start storing them into repurpose reuse uh glass jars from spaghetti sauce so right here i have one pound of the red kidney beans it was perfectly fit into that one then i have one pound of the black eyed peas which perfectly fits into this one now i do need to save some more spaghetti jars because the other ones i have is the pickle jars and you know what they do kind of stink so i'm not going to use that for food but um yeah i do have a couple more beans i would like to put into some my next saved spaghetti jars okay down here just other random stuff dog food um all my little skinny syrups you know my mixtures for sprites and seven ups or coffees i have right there then just extra stuff that we we rotate through this bottom shelf here i did not get to go through that yet over here is my mala bag stuff and uh some of my <laughs> August and farms I need to go find a place for when I get to that section of the apartment and, you know, organize it and do a quick refresher for it. But let me put this back over here until I go get my Zatarain's rice at the store. So I have that. Uh, let's see, over here, y'all, sneak peek of my next videos, an Amazon prepper pantry haul. I have that coming up very soon. And also a review from Survival Frog, the personal water filter. I will have a dedicated review video for this coming up very soon. So I can't wait for that. All right. So that is pretty much what I've been doing in my kitchen. I still want to go through all of my cabinets, you know, uh, like I said, I went through all my, not all of my clothes, but a good portion of me and my daughter's clothes. You know, every year she needs new clothes. You know, she's a growing kid. She grows like a weed. <laughs> so it's kind of good to try to get a head start of that, you know, before it gets too cold and things, you can't find things in the store like winter jackets, boots, you know, pants, you know, I'm sure there'll be other items, but maybe you can't find what you like in your size. So it's always try to good to get a good little head start on that. So that's what we tried to start doing. It's just, you know, clearing out our clothes, bringing a lot of stuff to the Goodwill, making room for new items, making room to maybe store other stuff, you know, that 
that type of thing. But okay, y'all. So another thing I want to do real quick in this vlog, this prepper vlog, is I've been wanting to go to Dollar Tree. I've been missing Dollar Tree. So I think I'm going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to eat dinner, put all this up. And you know what? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or this evening. I don't know. We'll see. But for you guys, it'll be like one second. We're going to take a trip to Dollar Tree. All right, y'all. See you soon. Okay, y'all, we're off like a herd of turtles. Let's go. Okay, so we are here at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to grab a few things. I really don't have anything in mind that's in particular that I want to get from my prepper pantry. It's just whatever I see on the shelf that I think I want or need. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick up like this coffee right here. This instant coffee is always good to have in a prepper pantry. You can never have too much coffee. And I figured I'd pick up this little creamer. I'll keep this little creamer in the prepper pantry and I might just take this camping if I do a small little camping trip again this year. Um, let's see what else I got. I really, you know, I really should have made a list, but I mean, I really don't think I need a list. I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to come, you know, last minute and just look and see. And I made sure I came to this Dollar Tree because this is like the cleanest Dollar Tree <laughs> in town, okay? Um, all the other ones and y'all there's a lot of dollar trees that i could go to a lot <laughs> but they're all filthy they are so filthy and maybe some of my other videos you might have seen how dirty and filthy they are i mean just really disgusting like i just want to go in there myself and just clean the shelves the shelves are just full of icky sticky spilt food and they're just really dirty this is like the nicest cleanest dollar tree i have ever seen so i made sure to come all the way over here to this one because as you can see look how nice and organized everything is like nothing is out of place there's not spilt beans and rice on the floor you know there's i mean it's just the shelves are clean there's nothing sticky and gross on them uh and i think you know at the end of this um when i was about to check out i heard them talking you know the people who work there and they was telling another customer that they could just cannot keep any workers here because they're so busy because everyone likes to come to this Dollar Tree and they here because it's the nicest cleanest Dollar Tree which you know makes sense I just hope they can continue to keep it nice and clean like this because it's you know it's the nice one we do um occasionally go visit like this huge huge Dollar Tree it's like a Dollar Tree mall I might have done a video on that years ago you know i might do another one on it because it's like i don't know is it like the world's largest dollar tree i mean i don't know it's gigantic so i'm going to be really looking forward to visiting that huge dollar tree i will be sure to record it and show you guys but okay so i'm putting some of this loaded potato soup in my basket i love some potato soup but i don't think i ever tried you know the campbell's kind in a can so i'm going to you know of course put one in my prepper pantry and then try one to see if I like it if I like it I will buy more this I found the cheese sauce y'all we love us some cheese sauce with some tostitos so I made sure to get one of each kind that they offered y'all they got all the goya beans here I think I'm pretty good on beans they got some lunch meat um, Vienna sausages y'all my favorite Vienna sausage is the spicy ones but they did not have it Look, they got the noodles. We love us some noodles. I really should have got some of those, but maybe next time. They have all sorts of seasoning, the gourmet beer can chicken. I was thinking of getting that, but um, y'all, I was going through my seasoning that's in my kitchen that I use now, and I have so much. Plus, I already have so much in my prepper pantry that I really need to organize, actually, and go through. Um, so, y'all, these coffee filters, a great way, 150 of them. So, you know filter water and also keep on hand for your coffee pot but in an emergency you can filter water through that then you know boil your water um all right so 
Y'all, sorry about the recording. I was, I just did not want people to see me recording. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but okay. So yeah, excuse my purse. I am going down the aisle where they have like the um, storage containers, the food storage containers, you know, dishes. And I've seen some really cool, um, this is what I grabbed when I first came in. As you can see in my basket is one of those little tall plastic containers. I grabbed one of those, but I think I'm going to get another one. And y'all, these are some really cool dish scrubbing towels, which I really need to start buying because I always use sponges. But I think I need to start putting some of those in my prepper pantry because you can, you know, wash it or boil it to clean it, you know, sanitize it with some hot boiling water in an emergency, like in an SHTF situation. So I think I'm going to start stocking up on those dish towels. All right, y'all, I am done. Let's go ahead and load this into the car and we're going to go ahead and go home and do a haul. Can't wait for that. But on the way home, I need a quick little snack. So I grabbed some beef jerky, which is so good. All right, let's go ahead and go. Hey everyone, so I got back from the Dollar Tree and let me just show you guys a quick little haul, okay? Uh, first off over here, you can see I got these um, storage containers right here. They are for pasta. So I'm going to store my pasta that I'm going to use now in there. You know, the ones I do store for long term, I put those in Mahler bags. But this will be for my for my kitchen for now, okay? Then I got over here a small little thing of some coffee creamer. I wanted to get this small one at Dollar Tree because in case if I do go camping this uh, fall or winter time, I want this to bring with me. So, and I would like to get some more. I'll get another one every time I go to Dollar Tree because this is, <laughs> you know, it's good to sack up on coffee and creamer. Gotta have it. For me, at least, I have to have it. I can't go without my coffee. All right, and I also got the instant coffee from Dollar Tree. It's 100%, what does it say? 100% instant coffee uh, made in Mexico. So I got that. I got two of these red sweet pepper strips. I had gotten this before from Dollar Tree. I do like them. So like whenever I want to cook maybe like some steak fajitas or chicken fajitas, whatever, but I don't have the bell pepper on hand. It's like a last minute meal pretty much. These are great to throw in there, okay? So this I want to start, you know, buying more of for the prepper pantry. You know, have it rotate through it, but buy more. Mushrooms. Another thing I overlook in my prepper pantry. We love mushrooms too. We love the bell peppers. So we love mushrooms. <laughs> um, and this will be a rotating prepper pantry. That's how my prepper pantry is, okay? But anyways, mushrooms, I like to stock up more on some mushroom. This is the pieces and stems from Dollar Tree. Let me see here. Uh, product of pollen. Product of pollen, okay? Let's see, where were these from? These are from, let me see, Peru. Okay, then I got my two loaded potato soups. I can't wait to try one of these to see if I like that. I love potato soup, but you know, I know not all potato soups are the same. So, Campbell's, it's a good brand. So, I'm sure I will like it, but I like to try it before I buy more for the prepper pantry. Coconut milk, I grabbed one of those. This is not something I use a lot of at all, but there is a recipe I have in mind that I want to use that for. Okay, another thing is the olives, you know. Olives is another thing I overlook in the prepper pantry. Of course, you want to have your proteins and vegetables, you know, of course, and mostly proteins. You need your proteins, like your canned chicken and canned meats. But this is good, too. We, Like I said, it's a rotating prepper pantry. And another thing I was looking at in the store is the Best Buy date. So, for these olives, y'all, look at the Best Buy date. Uh, 2026. Best Buy date, 2026. Let me see the soup. The soup, I think it's a lot sooner than that. 2024. Okay, the coconut milk, 2025. All right, and the mushrooms is 2026. So y'all, I got some good Best Buy dates. And then for the red sweet bell pepper strips, it is 2025. The instant coffee is, oh, can barely see that one. Okay, and the instant coffee is 2023. You can barely see that one. And the coffee creamer is 2024. Okay. The cheese, y'all, me and my daughter, we love our chips and salsa, but we also like the cheese dip. So this is the Pace brand, a good brand. I got one medium, one mild, and this is the white nacho cheese sauce, which I can't wait to try. The Best Buy date for this, 2023, 2023. Okay, 
Also, I got these tortilla strips. I have one of these in my pantry right now that we're about to go through. I like to put these in salad. I like to put these in salads. They're really good. Uh, the best buy is for this is December 2022. Then I got two of these uh, spicy hot <laughs> shrimp noodles. The best buy date for this is 2023. But that's pretty much for us right now. I'm constantly having to buy this for the prepper pantry because we just, we love us uh, some noodles, okay? Uh, so this right here, I got one of these. It's a two pack and this is the microfiber scrubbers. You know, one side's microfiber and the other side is a scrubber. You know, it's good to stock up on all other stuff too besides food, like dish sponges, okay? Um, I will continue to stock up on dish sponges, but this is something I overlook because I think in an SHTF situation, I'm going to much rather use this to uh, do dishes with and also to like wipe down um, counters and everything. And not to mention it has a scrubber side built into it. And I think it'll just be a lot easier to keep this clean and sanitized, you know, because you want to keep, I mean, of course, now you're going to, like, you know, dispose of your dish sponge and get a new one every so often. But, you know, eventually you're going to run out. So I think these are going to be good because it's a lot easier to clean these, boil some water, scrub it with some soap and clean these and hang these to dry. And you can get many uses out of these. These are 12 inch by 12 inches. And yeah, so I think every time I go, I'm going to go ahead and get one. They had other colors like gray, black, and blue. Um, I spent about, I think it was about, I don't know, I forgot to look at my receipt, but I think it was about $30, close to $30, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and deal with this tomorrow. Um, this prepper style vlog is over with, but I wanted to, you know, do this, do something different. Um, take a little outing with you guys and yeah I just think you know slow steady steps and being consistent is the way to go I know you can't be perfect and get everything done in one day say for example my messy <laughs> proper pantry okay it's been a while since I worked in there but I'm just grateful that I have it okay and also you know like I said like small steady steps so you don't overwhelm yourself and want to quit out you know tap out of doing it you know small steady steps don't overdo it all right so that's just what i did today to get my home in order i hope you're getting your home in order for whatever kind of emergency <laughs> uh you're preparing for i think it's good to prepare for a wide variety of things okay um i think it's just a smart wise thing to do um get your home in order you know do a good home refresher you know, get in the back of those shelves, see what you got, see what you looked over, overlooked and, you know, haven't used in a while, use that up, buy a new one, replace it, you know, dust off your shelves type of thing. Um, I know that's good to do every so often, but just this video is just like friendly, a little reminder to, you know, get in there and do something, switch out your summer clothes to your winter clothes, see what you need more of, get a head start on looking for those items before they're all sold out, you know, or you just can't find what you want, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to keep on going on and on. This video is over with, but, um, I'm glad you stayed with me. If you stayed with me this long in the video, I really do appreciate it. So please, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, um, and share, share this video with others who you think would enjoy it. Who's into this thing? Or are you trying to get them to start doing this type of thing? All right, y'all take care and keep on prepping.